Hi, I'm here today to speak with Steve Portable in advance of the upcoming Fluxible Conference. Steve, you were born Canadian and now live in the U.S. What differences have you noticed in approaches to design both north and south of the 49th parallel? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, great, great question, uh, some of the, what, what's a, what's a parallel, um, yeah, what, what's a parallel? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sorry for being a little opaque there. What, what do you think is different in design between Canada and the United States. Is that is that a little better? Yeah, yeah. I see where you're coming from now. Uh, that's such a broad question. We could consider the consumer attitude towards design in terms of how design is explicitly presented as an ingredient, like when Target started selling Michael Graves, or how business leaders believe in the value of design as a transformative factor in accelerating the level of innovation. Is design a factor in prolonging BlackBerry as a viable institution longer than its strategic missteps would have led us to believe? And in a global economy where the means of production are so highly distributed, indeed where teams are distributed, can we, nay should we, even attempt to answer this question? Uh, in your new book, Interviewing Users, you note that you don't go into an interview with a set of answers in mind. How do you keep distant from that? Yeah, yeah, great question. It, 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 sh it really about how much stake I have in a certain type of response. It shouldn't matter to me if people like something or don't like something or understand it or have a certain preference for it or a certain motivation. My goal is to get to the deepest level of insight to really... Uh, uh, to really make sense of something I don't understand. Those insights point towards the opportunities or the barriers, and I'm fully invested in helping the team uncover those and figure out what to do about them. And in order to do that, I have to be fully divested from the lure of certain ideas. One tactic is to simply be exposed to those ideas or expectations as others have them, so they are out in the open and not closely held. And of course, I think this feeds nicely into the issue of being present, of being in the moment with the person I'm interviewing and, and setting everything else aside for the time being. And that notion of presence is one of the things we'll be exploring a lot in my workshop at Fluxible. What are you looking forward to most about being back in Canada? <laughs> On one hand, I'm certainly thinking about getting into all the things that are bad for me, like chocolate bars, your minty arrows, your caramels, and of course, beer that's new to me, but the humans are always going to be the best part. I always get rewarded for coming to Canada with a lot of positive attention and good feedback, and that's super motivating for me.